I saw uh, there's this homeless guy that goes to the same laundromat that I go to. He always has a table up, and he sells a bunch of stuff, like incense and shit. Which, I mean, you got to... <laughs> to sell incense from a homeless level, <laughs> like this guy, this guy, this stuff is supposed to smell good. This guy does not. <laughs> he might be the greatest salesman that there is. <laughs> this guy had the best pitch I'd ever heard ever anywhere for anything. I was walking in the laundromat and he stopped me. He's like, "Hey man, sorry to bother you, but you seem like the kind of guy that likes pussy." <laughs> Go on. <laughs> you have my attention. He's like, all right, well, for a dollar, you can have this. And he shows me a plastic sleeve of incense and on the plastic in pen, the word pussy. Like, I, like he discovered the formula, that found a way to condense it to the form of incense, which in the world of incense, would be a disgusting incense. You know what I'm saying? As, as far as incense goes, like there's potpourri, lavender, I'll do all that, but vagina, no context. <laughs> as, like, I don't need my place to just smell like that for no reason. You know what I mean? Like, I got family coming over, okay? I don't uh, explain this to my nephew. You'll learn soon enough, son. <laughs> Plus, I want to earn that smell. I want to buy it from some homeless guy for a dollar. That is the lowest grade of prostitution there is. Where the pimp's like, look man, all I got is the smell. It's a dollar. <laughs> Light didn't let your imagination do the rest. Like, it's like weird power of now way of jerking off. Like. <laughs> And it's not the smell of vagina I have a problem with, okay? It's just the fact that this is a homeless man's rendition. <laughs> like, who knows what he threw in the pot to even make it smell like that? Because <laughs> there's no way he nailed that first shot. Just no way. At least once he had been like... Almost. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that is, but I'm, that's like ball sack now. I'm like an inch away. <laughs> I bought it, by the way. I, he wins. Originally, I wasn't going to light it. <laughs> Originally. Had it for about a week, which is pretty much as long as you could own a sleeve of incense that's, <laughs> that literally says pussy on it without, you know, cracking that bitch open at least once. I went a week, and I finally, one night, I lit it. And nothing weird. My pants were on. I was... I was curious. So I lit it. You know what it smelled like? Nothing. I basically paid the guy a dollar to burn wood in my apartment for like a second. But about a week later, I ran into the guy. He uh, goes to the same laundry mat that I go to. Uh, didn't recognize me. Tried to give me the same pitch all over again. It's like, that's just what he says. So I'm coming in, and he's like, you seem like the kind of guy. He's like, no, dude, I bought your pussy in sets. <laughs> Not this time, buddy. And by the way, I'm having this in public. Like, people are walking into the laundry mat, I'm like, that didn't smell like puss. Like, what the? F <laughs> What's his business with this guy? <laughs> but I told him straight up, I was honest. I was like, look, man, I got to tell you, that didn't smell like pussy at all. As a matter of fact, that didn't smell like anything. And he goes, that's because it's good pussy. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Well, shit, I'll take another one. A dollar? Let's do this shit.